Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games. A series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun. So if you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! First game of today's episode is called If Only I Could Go Home Early. Now picture this, you are a person at work and once you get home, instead of smelling the magnificent cooking that your partner has made, you find them not alive. But not only do you find them not alive, the very next day when you go to work and come back again, you find them not alive again, but in a different way. So it's like levels of the same situation happening over and over again. And you need to figure out why we are about to begin and check it out right now. That kind of intrigued me because it kind of reminded me of the game 12 minutes where the guy would get home every single time and he has 12 minutes to figure out what to do and how to save his life, I guess. Help, I have an annoying trouble. I'm back! And it says roleplay game right there. Can I click on that? Nope. Okay, and there's my wife with Link's sword in her back. What the hell is it? A Frostmourne? I don't know what a Frostmourne is, but... Oh, shit! Okay, so she's alive. Baby, hold me tight! My wife likes to... I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm back! The most delicious pork rips. My baby made pork rips? Oh baby, oh baby. Okay, so she's dead because she has a lot of glass in that ass, I believe. Poisoned? And what does this say? One spitball, open it saying poison. And the following is unclear. There's a bowl of some random stuff here. It's pork chop soup pasting antidote on it. I'm assuming that I give it to my dead wife. And now she's alive. And she's like, hold me tight, baby. Oh, baby, hold me tight. It's uncommon and it's hard to tell. She likes playing dead. She makes different ways to play dead. Okay, so every time we get home from work, our wife is so damn bored that she likes to play dead. Instead of doing like a book club or anything like that, she's like, you know what? I'm going to play dead. And she's dead right now. This is a plastic plate, obscurely. It is written, the murderer is in this way. She held an arrow pointing where the murderer is, and she cried as she died. That is romantic. And there's a big chest here. It seems that you need a key. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of set of numbers as I walk through the door. As I walk to the door? Five, five, two. It's five, five, two. Okay. It seems that you need a key. Well, where do I go to do this? 552, five, you say? Wait. 552? Five, five, oh, what the heck? Um. Hold on, I'm rotating these. I did it. Great. I'm the man. Bro, I am the man. Like, you might as well call me the key master because I'm with the shits. Okay, so let's put this in here. And now the code is square, circle, triangle. Square, circle, triangle. So 525. Five. 525. Five. What's your number, baby girl? It's 525. 5259. 525. And there was a cat. It's an orange cat. Not just any cat. It's an orange cat. So let's give the cat to the lady. And she said, Baby! Love me, tell me, baby! Love me! I don't know how people can come alive after getting a cat. Like, cats don't even fuck with you like that. What is happening right now? Of course. Oh, okay. I was gonna do some voice acting. You know what? Wow, really? I'm really trying my best out here to give top tier, sloppy top tier voice acting. But yeah, cats don't even fuck with you like that. You can come home and then you don't see them all day. And then by the time you go to bed, they're like, meow. Like, you're supposed to be best buds and shit. Like, no. Very fierce. Not allowed to pet. What did I just say? I didn't even make these up. Like, this literally is word for word. This dude said very fierce. So the cat has bunny ears. And where's my wife? She took an arrow to the brain, dude. What the heck? A part of a picture. Okay, and there's a part of a picture missing here. So we put that. And it looks like arrow? <laughs> Very observant, husband. So let's see what I have to do. Is that something? That's nothing. I noticed that there's something here. Like a weird puzzle. Okay, so let's put this here. And then here, here, here. That's definitely not it. I think this goes here, and I did it. It was a fish. Okay, it's a part of a picture. 
and that says 4102. I saw a safe that was under here. So 4102. Bro, I am on one today. Put that there. A fish. Who knows why there is one fish here? Give it to the cat. And then the cat's gonna go meow. Ungrateful ass cat. An ornament like the cat's ears. And I think I put the bunny on my honey. Is that what you want me to do? She said, oh baby, hold me tight. This game is not what I expected. But my wife is picking up a big water jug. She can't do it, but that's okay. Cause Bay is back. And it says exhausted fountain of youth. We pet the cat. I told you, the cat's not even happy to see us. What's this? A glass for that ass. We go here. Okay. How do I get inside the door? Oh, she died. She died as she lived. So, how did she die though? I guess the guy can't figure it out. But what I can do, I can get a lemon. And then, I guess I did that. Fuck. Whoa. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Fuck. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, four, five. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, I'm so good. Oh, the code was right there. Red, blue, blue, red, blue, red, blue. And then I think I need to make the water yellow. So let's give some water right here. Get some water. Fuck, close the fridge, bro. Okay, now we got a glass of water. Put the lemon in the water. Put the lemon in the water. Bro, what is up with this game? Okay, we got that. Put that in there. Got lemon juice. And then give it to wifey. And she said, oh, baby. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop everybody, I promise. I'm back. It's a giant cock right here. <laughs> Looks like a robot chicken. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Um, She died with a fork in her ass. And what's that? This is the dinner today. Please enjoy it. You? Are you the main course? Or just the appetizer? Okay, let's go inside here. Clicking this shit is extremely weird, dude. Like, it's hard to do these things. A small pack of Thai rice. And another small pack of Thai rice. Put that in there. That in there. I don't give a shit about that. It's an egg, right? No, it's cooked rice, duh. What about that thing? How about the chicken? Nothing? Nothing with the chicken? So let's give my wife some rice. And her heart is broken. Lord, dragon lady. Whatever the fuck that means. I think I know what to do. Give me that chicken. Give me that chicken! I think I need to make it lay an egg. Okay. So let me get the fork. Because fork, yeah. Let's do that. Can't do that to the chicken. All right, sorry. Sorry for the disrespect. Oh, I think I push it towards the door. Right? Go. Yeah, I slowly tap it. Tap, tap, tap a roo, and then he's gonna lay an egg. Yup! There you go. All right, take your time, baby girl. Goo, goo, goo. And ga, ga, ga. <gasps> oh! What the fuck? Okay, put that in there. And put that in there. Freshly prepared egg fried rice. Oh, man. I have to tell you all, I think I make one of the coldest fried rices out there. Like, I should make a video on it. Because I think that if you all make it, it'll change your life. Like, if you have a crush on somebody and you want to impress them, make Jay's fried rice and it'll say, Baby! Hold me tight, baby! I promise you! Now we're watching some Netflix? I don't know what we're watching. Look like Stranger Things. Wait, did I just disappear? Yeah, I think I did. And I'm back! In a suit and flip-flops in search of the memory. Let's see how she died this time. Let's go inside here. And she probably just... Oh, yep. She passed out right in front of the computer. Kind of like me. That's usually my daily routine. So... What am I going to do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay, hold on. We have to make some sitiomititis. That looks like that. Okay. This one goes like that. Bam! It says Coke. What kind of Coke? The white kind? The white kind that you just like put on the table or Coca-Cola? You gotta make yourself clear. Okay, she needs Coke. She needs one bad. What is this shit, sponsored by Coke? Let's pet the cat. Cat fanatic, play with the cat in three levels. Oh, all right. What the fuck? 
C O. Okay. Coke. C O K E. Cola. So we hid Coke behind a safe that says Coke to open it. What the f Now what? Got the Coke. All right. She don't give a shit about the Coke. She definitely wants the other Coke. I think that's confirmed. Can I go in here? Yep, we can go in here. And what is that? That's nothing. Let me open the fridge. And we really ain't shit. I need uh, another drink, I think. Or at least a glass. Okay. Well, let me make something happen. Let me make the magic happen. I'm not a magician, but let me see what I can do. Hold on. Anything else in here? How about, um, uh, Pokey? Yeah, Pokey. Pine... Pie? Pile? Pile? Pile of ass? Nothing. Okay. What the hell do I do? Yo, I'm getting out of here, bro. My wife played too much. She always plays dead. I'm done with it. Like, just ask for the cola. Okay, so I've been stuck on this one for a few minutes. So apparently, you are supposed to access different things from the same safe. I'm supposed to spell out the word chip, and then out pops out multiple chips. Like, what in the actual fuck? Like, what kind of high-tech ass 2050 safe is this? Chips. I thought it was a glass for that ass. But she wants coke and chips, and she will literally die until I freaking get it. So here you go. Starting disc. Let's play it. Movie. And now I'm playing a guitar. Cause fuck yeah. That's why. I'm like three feet tall. Everybody's normal size. Oh, will you marry me, my love? I'm back! Only music can heal me. Let me pet the cat. Oh, no achievement? Because, you know, once too many times? She dead? No, she's alright. Oh, shit, she's dead! How did she die? An old guitar with a string missing. At least we have a lead. Okay. What is this? I have no idea what I'm looking at. No idea what that even is. I'm just gonna go away. And hopefully I never have to look at that again. So, we have to do this... This uh, circle square triangle. Okay. I can do this, everybody. I can do this. Watch me. Crumpled up. No, on the ground. I'm gonna read the hell out of it. Fragment of music score. I know exactly where to put that. This says, my guitar hero. Okay. I really didn't ask, but all right. We need to find more music sheets. Because she wants the man that she fell in love with many years ago. I'm not the same man. Life changes me. War never changes, though. Oh, I found a note underneath the cat? <laughs> what? Why are you hiding shit, cat? All right. Put that there. And... No clue what I'm even doing. Okay. I guess that's it. So I need more. How can I deal with the steel wire? Ooh! Look at me, Sherlock Holmes with the shits. I know exactly where to put that. String on my thing, and... Okay. I don't know, like, notes. in store and watch them do this no thank you
Next game of today's episode is called Romut. I'm actually very nervous to play this because this comes from the same creator as the game called From the Darkness and Wrong Floor. I don't know if you remember those two games, but those were some of the most scary games that I've ever played on the channel. This looks like it fits that style perfectly. And it says zero out of five, destroy them all. All right, whatever you need me to do, boss. Holy crap. Oh, the graphics in here look amazing. Oh, it's so creepy and so freaking tight. I don't like tight corridors like this. E. Whew. Man. If you haven't felt claustrophobic in a game, welcome. Enjoy your stay. Holy crap. Oh, this is like a repeating loop type thing because I remember these chains. Shout out chain gang. Oh, boy. Now the tears. The tear? I'm scared. I, I call the chair a tear. turn around nope okay can I open this fuck oh double doors double dams wait okay now I have to backtrack oh fuck why are the hairs in the back of my neck standing up I don't like this I don't like that there's an in-game heartbeat I can hear my own heartbeat thank you very much we're going back. What was that? Sometimes you have to plunge into darkness to get out of a closed loop. Press F. I don't like that. I don't like that. What the heck? I don't like that one bit. Can I get out? Whoa. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can't see. I know I'm moving forward because I can kind of see. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, this game is disturbing already. 1879? 1922? That didn't even say 1922. It says something else. Okay. So, flashlight on, flashlight off. And then we can transport between worlds, I believe. Now we're back in that ass. We are back in the ass crack of this game. I see a big old butthole wide open and shit. Jay, don't focus on that. Focus on me. Eyes up here. Eyes up here, King. Where are we? Ooh, this definitely has the From Darkness vibes. The wrong floor vibes. Where's that big ass man? Like 6'5? With a 10 foot wingspan? The fuck is this? Housekeeping? What did that person say from the last game? Baby! Hold me tight! Baby, why aren't you holding me tight? What the fuck is that? E. One out of five, what am I doing? I'm doing me. I'm doing me. You know? If they ever ask you, what am I doing? Say, bitch, I'm doing me. That's what I'm doing. What are you doing? That's the question. Oh, I thought that was a hole. I thought that was a holy hole, but it's just a light. Can I turn this off? Fuck am I? Oh, dude, I don't like this. <gasps> what is this game? Fuck. Oh my god. I don't like this one bit. This is disturbing. I think I'm walking into the 7 p.m. orgy. I might be late. What the fuck? I don't know if I want to play this anymore. Lights off. Oh my god. What the 
fuck? Oh, fuck. Yo. I'm duh. I'm duh. That's all I can say is I'm duh. Fuck me. Oh my god. I don't like this at all, everybody. I can't see. Oh, what the? What? Man, whose dick is that? Fuck. It's like a fat wiener drawing. Oh, shit. It does not make sense. It doesn't. Why was that dick so hairy? Okay, can I do this? Where am I? Fuck? Hello? Oh, fuck! My own light turned off. Oh, this is not good. My hands are so sweaty. Please, God, make it stop. This game is too disturbing for its own good. I need to find something here, don't I? Can I run? I can't. My tongue is itching for some reason. Please. Please, please. Oh, please, please. Oh, what the fuck is that? Another one of you? When will it end? That's what I'm asking. That, that's something I'm asking myself every day. I'm talking about the games. Come on, everybody. Stop. I guess I never found out what I need to do here. Shit. I need to find something here. Holy fuck. Yo, this game is nuts. This is one of the weirdest games I've played in a long time. I'm not even gonna lie. No! Oh! Oh! That bitch scared me so hard, I think my hairline went back. What the fuck was that? Frank? Fuck Frank! I'm sending my shooters to Frank. I said shending my shooters. I can't even take myself seriously. Now Frank is sending his shooters to me. Who the? Frank? You ain't Frank. You ain't Frank the tank. Frankly, I don't give a damn. Please, 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 please. I don't want another jump scare. I said I don't want another jump scare, please. Oh fuck, who the hell are you? Five out of five? Oh. Who's that? Yo, it's blurry as dick, but I see something. It sounds peaceful. It sounds peaceful. That could be a trick, though. End. Wow. Um, I wanted to say in the beginning of this game before I even played it that I am a big fan of this developer because they really put you on edge and they never let you take a step to, like, be safe. You know how, like, in Resident Evil, there's a safe room where you know that no enemies can get you? I feel like whenever I've played his games, I think I've played four games now because there was another one. It was called like Ninth Street or something like that. I remember he sent me an email to play their game. And um, so I played three now or four now. And each one, I've never felt comfortable at any moment of the game. And I look forward to their games a lot because it terrifies the shit out of me. 
but this was another one that was well done so i'm looking forward to whatever this developer comes out with next Last game of today's episode is called the Pizza Freak. I don't even know what that means. Like, do you like pizza and are you a freak pizza like me? Talk. Is the freak a pizza looking monster? Does that mean that if you like pizza, you're, I, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand what the Pizza Freak is. Like, do you enjoy eating pizza? And if you do, does the freak come out? Kind of like the poop killer. Remember when you take a poop and then you don't flush, the poop killer comes for your cheeks. If you eat pizza, and I don't know, don't put hot sauce on it. Does like the pizza killer come for you? Like the pizza freak? But there's some houses that aren't even on land. So we out here floating. We're just floating with the shits. And I guess I'm a delivery guy. I'm a pizza delivery boy, even though I'm a grown ass man. Well, we got the whip. It doesn't even matter. Self drive type shit. And we stopped because we know what's going on. Like we out here to deliver. We're not DiGiorno's baby and my current objective thoughts what i need some sleep i don't give a shit what you need deliver the damn pizzas my boy the fuck so where do i go i have to deliver pizza but my thoughts say i need some sleep are you someone i need to deliver pizza to you are oh thank you you're welcome yeah dap me up all right never mind <laughs> fuck that then we just need to deliver pizza to every single neighborhood, I think. It's pizza night for everybody. Nope, not you. What if there was somebody there? Oh, that'd be creepy as hell. But I guess I picked the right house to deliver pizza to. I just have to figure out what houses need pizza and what houses don't, I guess. And I just randomly parked who the fuck knows where. So yeah, that's how much I care about this place. How about you? Oh, here. Oh, thanks, kid. No problem, my boy. There's your pizza. Enjoy your lonely night by yourself because I know you're getting no action today. And I think I know what to do. Every house that has a set of candles, I think that they need some pizza. So watch this. Did I already go here? I think I've already been here, done that. Yep. Okay. I need sleep. But I also need to deliver some pizza, you say. This is a random ass game. Whoa! What the fuck? Hit the freaking gas like I'm a running back. I'm fast as shit. Okay. So let's speed deliver these pizzas. Yeah, look at this. Holy shit, I'm fast. What about you? Nope. Okay. Nothing there. Whoa. What? All right. I'll take random as fuck things happening in this game for a thousand. What? Why are you crossing your arms like that? Thanks. No problem. Oh shit. They're coming. You better watch out with those pizzas or they'll find you. Huh? Wait, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? There's a freaking siren for pizzas? I have to go to the car. All right, I'm going to the car. Is the car still there? The car's still there. Hell yeah. Go. Ah! What? The fuck was that? I need to get out of here. That's my objective. Okay. Bro. What's up with these random ass games, dude? What am I doing? Nothing is going to top that jump scare from the last game, I think. I think. Oh god. What is this? Why does it still say thoughts? I have no thoughts. I have no thoughts. I'm just a mindless drone. I'm confused. I am legit confused. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? Can I click on this? Yes. I clicked on that. I think that's like a save thing. What's that? What is that? Nice. Oh, okay. Exit. What? Holy shit. Oh! <laughs> what the f Okay. I think I see an end. Yep. There you go. 
Got it. No. All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cubs, Scouts, is that dude!